Hey there, this is K4A. In this video today we are going to learn how to undo, redo in Autodesk Sketchbook. Uh, we have cut out or crop our sketch, our drawing, and we made a mistake. We have cut out this guy's legs. So uh, can we go back in time and uh, go back to the moment where he had his legs in the whole figure uh, uh, actually we can and that's a great thing with the software which is uh, not possible when you draw on your pen and paper in real life uh, you can always go back in almost always in uh, software in applications all you have to do is find undo in uh, this case in sketchbook it's uh, the first actually icon the first tool it says undo or control plus z control plus z and redo uh, which means no go back again uh, in time but this time go forth not back uh, it's control plus y so let's go back this uh, arrow goes to the left and it's uh, red so it makes like uh, makes you think like you made a mistake it's red it's danger uh, go back i will click it once and here i am so I can go back again one more time to make my you saw how this uh, maybe this will be easier to see like this uh, you saw how one of the my line disappeared which I was so I will uh, click this couple of times and now you watch this guy losing the uh, sketch losing his uh, lines like his uh, uh, someone he is deleting his because that's how I was adding those so you can go back and forth in uh, time which is great and uh, okay I'm too much I have made too much uh, decisions to undo too much so let's go redo let's go forth okay oops too much undo so you can play with it again as much as you want the whole idea here is to have um, some kind of uh, safe net to fall if you make a mistake and uh, that's what we did when we cut out this guy so we can go i think even back to original maybe big big uh, illustrations so let's try this yeah yeah we can do it great and maybe even more let's see if i can undo yeah so this is the start i can go forth and back you see how software remembers your changes your acting on it and then uh, saves it uh, for some specific amount we will see that in a moment but what i wanted also to say this feature of undo redo is available also in almost every other uh, software which we were talking about game maker studio uh, fortnite editor uh, unreal uh, uh, scratch i have also yeah here i have explained it here in uh, scratch so it's uh, only new to guys to people who are not using computers who don't use any kind of software if you're using any kind of software like excel word whatever you know that there is undo and it will help you go back in time in terms like uh, uh, undo deny what i have did last move la my last move like uh, uh, what i have done last and vice versa when you go forth redo and again i'm using this here with these uh, buttons just to show you probably when i work uh, myself on my uh, illustration and sketches i would i would just uh, press my control z and control y on my key keyboard i wouldn't go uh, clicking on those two but you can yeah if if that's faster and more intuitive to you uh, great so what i wanted one more thing to show yeah uh, probably here somewhere in uh, settings yeah preferences or settings you uh, when you want to 
uh, as I said, uh, you have seen me make uh, like uh, 10 or something like that uh, sketch lines uh, on this guy here with a uh, gun and then I go back. So the question is how many changes I can undo, how many times I can go back in uh, to deny, to undo my changes and uh, the answer to that is uh, mostly found in um, uh, software in a window which is called preferences or settings. Uh, here it is uh, in preferences, yeah. Uh, and the second from the top says uh, undo after application restart maximum undo undoes is 50 and they recommend from 2 to 50 so you can uh, make uh, type this uh, here whatever I'm not recommending any uh, big number but yeah techni technically theoretically you could probably type whatever number you want and go really crazy and really big number uh, but that will uh, make effect on your computer the more the bigger you number you type it will uh, your computer will have to somehow remember those changes and he uh, computer will save it in some kind of internal memory you can call it cache memory or whatever and uh, that will slow up your development, that will slow up your computer or your drawing on the uh, screen in sketchbook. So it's all uh, about balance, like balancing uh, your uh, needs and uh, uh, what computer can do for you. So they recommend 50 as maximum. Uh, that's what was, that's what default value was here. So I'm not going to change it, but I would probably go with I don't know 10 to 20 maybe so I can maybe lower it so uh, it will be even uh, easier for computer to work and another thing here is that it says after application restart so for example if I uh, save this uh, I can now I can now go back and forth in time to see my changes and how to undo redo them but if I save this illustration like here in this moment and I say okay this is what I need save file file save 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 as uh, and then later open it uh, after a few seconds moments days whatever uh, I could not go and use uh, these changes and in time it will only go uh, from this so I would have to use eraser to delete this instead of going back and forth so again it's all uh, what I want to say is you have to be careful just if you're a beginner uh, when you save when you undo redo in terms of when you save your file that's it next time you start from that point you cannot undo redo in a time and space after you have saved it and that's it for this video uh eight minutes nine minutes not too bad uh, we are learning the basics but again uh, just uh, uh, i think this is a uh, more than fast in terms of this is all really easy to follow intuitive and you can uh, play with all of those tools on your own i would recommend that also and um, yeah start making art as soon as possible uh, see you in the next video bye for now and thanks for watching